I keep forgetting to put my intro in videos. How's it going, pups? It's a Kena. <laughs> Complacency is literally stupid. I feel like people put this term on a lot of healthy topics to where you should be complacent, but no, I'm talking about bad complacency. Like, you should be complacent, you have a happy life. But if you don't have a happy life and you're living in a bad living environment, bad living situation, you shouldn't be complacent that you're just alive. I hate when people say, oh, you should be lucky you have a roof over your head. Like, no shit, I am lucky that I have a roof over my head, but that doesn't negate any of my other complaints. These are two completely different instances and different lifestyles, okay? Can you understand that? Just because I'm not living in a, like, mud hut, <laughs> Mud hut is wild. Just because I'm not living in a mud hut doesn't mean I'm doing okay. Being okay, good, well off is subjective. There's no objective way to say that. I'm joining a million dollars of debt with bills coming in every day that I can't pay off, but hey! At least I don't live under a rock. It's, it's, it's fucking stupid. And I'm not talking about positivity. Positivity is very, very good, and you should have a positive outlook on life, but to say like, I don't know, to not be real and recognize reality, that's kind of like a negative to me. Not everything has to be focused in reality, but we shouldn't ignore what reality is, you know? See, that's why I'm a bitch, you know? I got some good sides of me and I also also keep it real, also say some of the bad, you know? I'm, I'm not a perfect person. I like saying that I'm a real person. I. I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm not really gonna lie and say some bullshit that I just don't believe in. I'm just gonna keep it straightforward. And like, nowadays, I really just don't give a fuck anymore. I'm just gonna say what I feel. Speaking more on positivity, positivity is an amazing thing to have in your life and you should be praising yourself more. But there are certain instances to where you have to say, wow, I'm in a bad position. I need to think more realistic and I need to push myself towards more positivity, you know what I'm saying? You can't just be like, oh, I'm eating dirty assholes every single day. <laughs> oh, you can't just be like, oh, I'm eating dirty assholes every single day. I'm not gonna get with a person who washed their ass. <laughs> Shower your ass. You deserve to be with a person who showers their ass. <laughs> and if you are that person, shower your butthole. <laughs> Don't be walking into the fucking club musty, Dirty as fuck fucking smell like ass. You gotta smell clean. Don't be using Axe body spray, okay? Axe body spray, that is the biggest cap of 2020. No, not even 2020, the 20s. I don't know why I said the 20s. I could not think of a number at all. Axe body spray literally incriminated a whole generation of people. I don't know why the fuck your mom Bought you Axe body spray thinking you're gonna smell good, but you just ain't, bro. I'm telling you the fact. I know, cause I was that kid. I was just like, I ain't got shit to wear. You know, I got some Axe deodorant, some Axe body spray. I bet I'm smelling better than what I was. And honest to God, I was not. Being poor fucking sucks. Imagine being one of the only black people in your class and you're wearing Axe body spray. You getting targeted for life, my guy. <laughs> My head was always on the desk. I was just like, dude, I just want to fucking die. Anyway, I went on a little tangent, but it is what it is. Push yourself to new heights and be complacent with the healthy good things in your life. That's all I got to say. Have a good day.